allowed themselves to be poisoned voluntarily almost usually feel the need to justify that and my observation is that more often than not they express a certain indifference as part of that justification they express it, uh, almost an indifference towards survival it's as if they are actually longing for this life to be over now it's a truism that people do not like the responsibility that comes with freedom so they they are voluntarily enslaved but that's nothing new there's a little booklet under the name of the politics of obedience containing the discourse of voluntary servitude by Etienne de la Boétie um, written in the 16th century but my sense is that what is going on here reflects the fact that humanity has taken this to a whole new level and that there is a collective death drive that perhaps corresponds to the fact that uh, humanity is so alienated from any humane form of living and purpose that the soul, the collective soul of humanity recognizes the necessity to die and to end the mode of existence it's been under for the last couple of centuries and this has this is now coming to a head it seems so there's a climax of sorts and my sense is that beyond all the machinations of the powers that be over the people we can analyze all that to death literally but it doesn't get to the core of it the core seems to me to be the fact that there is this death drive in the collective psyche now there is something profoundly negative in that death drive but it also has a potentially positive side because it recognizes that without transcending the old ways they're just we're stuck where there's just no fur no no place to go there, there, there isn't any future for the old ways and so that wants to die and the question is and that is probably something only the individual can answer is are we dying upwards or dying downwards are we opening up uh, dissolving the limitations to a, a genuinely spiritual influence beyond the psychic world or are we succumbing to the destructive forces that atomize our consciousness back down towards what René Guénon calls quantity so there is an element of death in a poetic sense involved in spiritual transcendence but that is something that uh, dissolves the limitations of the selfish personality And that is pretty much on the opposite side of the spectrum of destruction. And so I'm getting a sense that there is a threshold of death ahead for almost all involved, but of a particular type that requires of us to, to decide 
in which direction we want to die, upwards or downwards. And perhaps there is a differentiation happening in the collective psyche, part of which is developing upwards with all its instances called individual human beings, and the rest is being recycled into more primitive forms of life because it hasn't brought fruit. This last part is certainly speculative, but I found that speculation interesting enough to put this out as a video or audio as a reminder to myself later um, to see whether I might not have been right about that.